this week on your mom's house. I have made thousands of women come. I finger the way Daredevil smells. <laughs> this this is, might be the best <laughs> podcast bit of yeah. all time. No! No! Oh, fuck! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Make sure you head on over to sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. And you can get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Ready in Hamesh. Alba. Shalosh. Stein. 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 You gotta be fucking retarded as fuck to not lose weight. All right. Welcome to another episode of your mom's house podcast. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, don't forget to go see The Fat Machine. It's in theaters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Fat Russian Machine. The Fat Russian Machine is in theaters right now. Um, support that film. Um, so much going on. So much we're so excited about today's episode. Um, the first thing I wanted to do was uh, ask you, um, did you hear about the newest update to the Any Ryan basketball stakes i did not so the game is very is coming up very soon Uh, we're going to release a standalone video on the channel to recap everything that'll be coming up um quickly um but here are the stakes any who you guys know and ryan who also you uh some of you have just uh got to know uh who also works here at ymh um they're playing one-on-one this is the, the battle of to enormous egos mm. and they um they're gonna play one-on-one to 11 by ones and twos if edginald marginal any kravitz wins um he is going to get hair transplants oh my god i can't wait we're very excited if he loses he's gonna get a mri of his guts and do a um, one of the called the the colonics. The colonics. And we all get to we see get to, it. We get to watch it. That's and cool. And we'll have a party. It'll be a good time. Um, now, if if any wins, Ryan loses. Not only does any get those hair transplants, Ryan has said that he will take any to Las Vegas. Oh, okay. On his dime. Oh. And be oh. his assistant. Oh. For a couple of days while he's there, get him what he wants. Get him what he needs set up you know dinners and give him some gambling money like basically be his full-time assistant while he's there so any any boss will become his assistant i think that's lovely that's a lovely it's a fun it's a fun thing you know what i was thinking about is that the two of them are fairly equal when you when you think about any's lack of preparation Mm -hmm. right he's he's not doing anything he's going on chutzpah and youth alone is he well well, hold on and then ryan is a Mm middle-aged man with a heart condition yeah. so when you look at those equalizers yes. they're kind of e- they're the same although i don't know if yeah. you heard this i was just in the hall here mm. moments before the show and ryan turned to any and go how's your training going yeah training what do you yeah. mean yeah my uh so my homie uh shout out to matt alvarez you know what i'm saying sound shed studio shout you know out yeah. big <laughs> shout out you know what i'm big, saying big shouts uh, big shouts <laughs> you know yeah big shouts but um yeah. yeah, so he he heard that the game was going on, and he hit me up. And he's like, "Bro, we gotta get you ready for this game, man. Like, we gotta get you good." And I'm I like, like it. I'm like, I'm chilling, man. It, I'll, I'll be fine, you know. Like, Damn. why do you play? And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, I play. We should." Uh, I'm like, "Let me at least see how good I do against you." And then he ended up bringing two people. We do it, you know. We do the one v one, and then he brought two people. How'd one v one go? No, huh? How did one v one v one go? <laughs> well, we didn't get the finish. Because the whole time I was trying to do the 1v1, his, he brought two friends that, like, okay. actually coached in college or something like that. Okay. And they were, like, trying to give me pointers, like, hey, see what you're doing with your feet there? See what your, you know, your shot, your elbow? I'm like, would you just stop? I don't, okay. I don't need this. Just, How was 1v1 going? It was, uh, I'd say we were about even. Really? Yeah. yeah, we were about even. And this is coming from you, because you, the big thing for me on this was just, like, you're like, I, didn't, I don't play basketball and I haven't played basketball yeah. in forever. I don't. I don't know basketball. I don't watch basketball. I don't like basketball. And you don't play basketball. I don't play basketball. No. That's really crazy. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. I did. I did start learning some of the rules though. Some of the rules, like yeah. what? You know, you have to dribble. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, you can't be traveling. You know, <laughs> I know about that one. But, <laughs> but um, how's your jump shot? I mean, I could jump. 
I know you can jump. How'd you jump? And shot. I could shoot. You so, can shoot. I mean, I could jump and I could shoot. Have you seen my Instagram? I shot that. Uh, that that the carnival game supposed to be rigged. First shot, baby. Easy peasy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'd be out there. Yeah, I'd be training at carnival games, arcades. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's gonna be it's gonna be easy peasy. But um, Ooh. but the um, balls on this guy. But see, this kind of arrogance uh, and confidence exciting. can go a long way. It goes. Attitude, it can go both ways. Attitude yeah. helps. Yeah. I'm I'm with any. I have made thousands of women come without <laughs> on the even astral plane releasing my seed. Oh uh, yeah. I'm serious. I know you are. <laughs> anyway, uh, that guy's amazing. But I I did have a question though with these rules. So, uh, so in 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 the one v one, we're doing it the way you did, right? Where if you make it, then you bring it back to the make top it take of the, it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's I thought Ryan's in the studio. You're you're cool with make it take it. All right. Uh, let let Ryan sit there for a moment, if you would. This is great. Now it's um, heating up. Yeah. So there he is. Just. To be clear, you don't object to any of this, right? I'm not trying to speak for you. Do you object to any of this? No, of course not. I mean, maybe of any's wild confidence, but do you, do you, one, one on one, <laughs> ones and two, make it take it is, is make it take it, of course. And, yep. um, I mean, how do you feel about your, he's training, he's getting, he's getting some pointers. <laughs> he's training. I mean, well, Matt did say that he had a great jump shot or yeah. a great shot. He didn't say jump shot, great shot. Okay. So, and your Instagram video that you clearly edited, um, that was a good shot. <gasps> like, there was definitely, Damn. Uh, technique Damn. there. So I think the he's. Photoshop. I think he's better than we think. Uh huh. Um, Do you think he's played more than he gave on? Of course. Okay. It's him. Of yes. course. Yes. What the fuck? What do you mean? As a kid, you're saying? No, lately. <gasps> lately? Yeah. First of all, I didn't say I didn't play lately. Oh, see, here we go. There's oh. all the holes. I never said that. This is like the fireworks didn't fireworks come from the floor. <laughs> no, no, no. Came from the- <laughs> no, yeah. no, I never said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I never. I never. No, no, no. I, I never said that I haven't been playing. I, what I said, I thought you were saying that, that uh, when I was a kid. You know, what I'm saying that I didn't play when I was a kid because I did not. I haven't played since I was fucking ten or something. But he's shit. been playing every day since he was seven. No. I, what? How? That's did, what you're implying. It's all right. I, I'm still gonna oh. beat you. I'm not worried. But awesome. I love. By the way, this is just so you know what we all needed here. This I, is good. I, I do have a question too, though. <laughs> so I wasn't there for your your beatdown. Yeah. Um, oh. Are there fouls? So we had a ref. Do we oh, have the ref? Question. Right. Do we have the same ref? Question. Yeah. 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 Same guy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he doesn't call a lot. He let us play, but he does call stuff. He did. He did call a few things. That's why I'm a little but worried. My yeah. folks who don't know how to play generally foul a lot. But oh, yeah. my question, uh, because if I do foul, right, in your in your game, you mm-hmm. got a shooting foul, right? And then he just brought it back to the top. Yeah, there's, the no, there's, no, free oh, there's throws. no free throws. There's no, no free throws. There mm-hmm. wasn't. There wasn't. No, no, no. So mm-hmm. could you just continuously foul over and over? And I mean. I, I'm, I'm just saying, what are the rules? Okay, you know okay, saying? okay. I guess the answer to that is like technically, but like people just don't play like that like they're, they're trying to just win the game and play and so it's not very gentlemanly like yeah i mean right? like uh, yeah i mean look man if this was like you want to get into like the real details of that but yeah you should you should just try to play tough defense and uh, i would say don't i mean i wouldn't say try to foul um, no here's the correct answer we're playing on a wednesday i'm your boss again on thursday yeah okay uh-huh. so no no crazy fouls well, no crazy well, don't, fouls. Yeah. You're trying to, you're like hack a shack over here. No, no, I'm man. Go for the ball, fouls. dude. Just go for that. The answer yeah. is just go for the ball, dude. Look, I'm not saying I'm going to try, try to steal. To try to block. What if I do? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. If you but, foul, you foul. But yeah, you're, right. you're trying to play. You're trying to play a clean game, man. Both you're trying to play a clean now game. That, sure. Now that there's stakes, I'm actually a little bit more hyped because I right. do not want to go to Vegas with him and be his assistant. The, yeah. <laughs> he brings me coffee when we go there. <laughs> yes. Now the other way around. I don't know about that. I've never brought this man a coffee in my life. Not I just want to make that clear. Not yeah, yeah. I just want to make that clear. Okay. It's clear. It's clear. I just want to make that clear. Hey, no, it's, <laughs> it's clear. It's clear. <laughs> Take it easy. Um, yeah, okay. No, in, in prep, though, no, yeah, I have been prepping a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You just saw me. I drank a little bit of water today. I was. Uh, what? The, so I didn't know this. I, we were, what? Everybody finished up lunch and we were walking back here. And I see him Anna. crouch down by the. And I was, the fuck are you doing? He was like, and his little water. I go, are you drinking water? He's like, it's good to stay hydrated. You know, what? It's important. Oh like, my god! And he's drinking water. I, it blew my mind. How does it feel? It's delicious. Most importantly, delicious. is the training whatever you're That's doing. That's crazy. Tom. The drinking water is this affecting your dumps? You know, I'm not gonna lie. 
I'm not gonna lie. I was a little. I was. I'm a little upset because in the case that I did lose, which isn't gonna happen, but if I did, <laughs> yeah. it would be kind of unfortunate because yeah, yeah, hydrating more, you know, eating a little bit better. Yeah, dump, you've been eating better. Frequent, dog. Yeah. Well, what are you eating? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, yeah. how frequent? Shitting. I mean, I just well, basically, I let because I don't know how to eat healthy, man. I, that's always been like a struggle. If I ever tried, I just yeah. end up. <gasps> fucking it all up hold on so at, at lunch she had a kale salad mm -hmm. oh my god now it's all making sense mm -hmm. wow we got to get you in challenges all the time Whoa. <laughs> this is gonna help you live a much healthier life you've been living like a fucking cockroach yeah, yeah. pretty much yeah don't you feel better in a way too though physically? i do it's upsetting yeah why I mean, is it upsetting <laughs> because i because i don't want to eat i'm not eating the things that i like to eat you but know here's the thing you think you want to eat those things but when you realize that you're putting this good stuff into your shell and you realize you feel this way and everything. Don't you actually go like, oh, doesn't your brain tell you like, you know what? This is actually the better way to do it. You just, you just don't want to say <laughs> anyone blank. else is right. That's what it is. <laughs> You're just like, fuck that shit. I mean, maybe, maybe what it is is that it hasn't, I haven't been doing it long enough. Maybe, maybe that it'll be yeah. over time. Yeah. And here's the I'll thing. If you extend that. how long you're doing this yeah. and then you go back, you're going to realize. <laughs> I mean. That you miss the healthy way yeah, of you living. like the way you look now you do you're in, and you like the way you feel and saying that you don't is such cap eddie <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> damn. <laughs> all right let's get into the cap report so wait we haven't even started the show okay let me open the show real quick and then we'll do the cap report here we go ready <laughs> and here you go here's the deal with marketing for me you want to know my all-time marketing secret i mean oh, sure i want to know this is going to be it this will change the world world oh. treat people the way you want to be treated oh god there's your all-time marketing ploy if you've got a product make sure it's something you would enjoy opening yes. yeah playing and going damn i got a good deal yeah t-shirts put them out there so when you see them in 10 years they still look great yep screened on both sides and do it for a price? Are you kidding me? You really want to make five times what the shirt costs, you know, uh, on every purchase? Come on. This shit is big time. Holy it's great. He's such, such an angel. Your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome. He's a good guy. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Insight that we were given. Treat people oh, the way you want to be treated. Just be the best. Be the nicest person you can be. Put Tom, one of my t-shirts out, and ten years later, that's a cool t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the secret is to being a good comedian? Just What's being that? the best person you can be. Be a good guy. Just loving everybody. Just guy. Just good guy. Oh shit. So cool. He's such a saint. He's gonna be sated when he Here's dies. Here's my marketing ploy. Is gonna change the world, everybody. Oh my god. Mm. Love. Just love everybody. Just love people, man. It's such a weird, <laughs> such a fucking weird, weird thing. Couldn't be any weirder. It's like it's like when you have to tell people you're a loving person. Yeah. It's like our guy from the last episode, Humans of New York. Yeah. If you have to tell everybody what an amazing lover you are, it never works that way. Like I just don't, I don't buy it. You don't go broadcasting. I'm psycho. an amazing human being. I'm telling you, that that love. always goes for like, it's like the things that men say they're good at. Yeah. Fighting, <laughs> fighting, fucking, yeah. driving, oh. and being funny. Oh, dear. Those are the four dude like things yeah. that guys think they can do or brag they can do, except for the guys that do those things well. Yep. The guys that do those things actually well don't ever tell Never you. Never say. They have like a women go, women say like, oh, that guy can fuck or yeah. a guy another guy will be like you don't want to fuck with that guy he will rip your head like yep. the guy never tells you you know no it's really fascinating well, um, he's telling us 
Yeah. Um, your dates. Where yes, are you gonna please. Be? Thank you so much for reminding me, Tom Seguera. Sure. Guys, I'm so pumped. I'm finally going back to my mother country, Canada. Canada. I can't fucking wait, bro. Toronto, September 7th, September 8th in Jizz and Peg, Canada. <laughs> yeah. Toronto and Jizzapeg, and then Comedy Vex downtown, September 14th, 15th, and 16th. I just think the Jews are great. Okay. Um, and then also I'm going back to Shark Lake Titties Puta in October. Ah. It is very satanic. Okay. And that'll be up by the time. There this you go. Is there. So thank you so much. Tickets are going really fast for Toronto, so get them. Yeah. They're hot. They're um. Away. We are supported by Ridge. Gifting for dads can be hard, but Ridge is making it easy with one of their biggest sales of the year for Father's Day. The Ridge wallet expands to hold up to 12 cards, plus room for cash while remaining as slim as possible. These wallets come in 30 plus colors and styles, including carbon fiber, burnt titanium, forged ember, and burnt Damascus. And they are designed with RFID blocking materials that protect you from digital pickpocketers. You can also add an AirTag attachment so you never have to lose your wallet again. The Ridge team is so confident you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 99 days. And you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. The durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. I'm such a big fan of Ridge wallets that I've actually swapped out different ones from time to time. I just change because I actually enjoy changing up the wallet experience and having a different feel and a different look. You can find the best Father's Day gift using my link ridge.com slash mom. Right now you can save up to 40% through June 15th. That's ridge.com slash M-O-M. Summer is just around the corner and it might just be the best one yet. Thanks to Summer of Dash Pass from DoorDash. With a Dash Pass membership, you can save big now through July 19th on swimsuits, beach snacks, sunscreen, and more. With Summer of Dash Pass, you'll enjoy $0 delivery fees and reduced service fees on all eligible orders, making it easier and more affordable than ever to stock up on your favorite summertime essentials. Experience a summer like no other. Best your best summer with a Dash Pass membership from DoorDash today. Sign up for Dash Pass now, and you'll get your first month free. Plus, when you use our promo code, you get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more on your next Dash Pass order. When you download the DoorDash app and enter the code MOMSUMMER. That's 50% off when you spend $10 or more on your next Dash Pass order. And when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code MOMSUMMER. Don't forget, the code is mom summer for 50% off your next order subject to change terms apply as okay. we mentioned the the fat machine has a movie out yes. and he's been doing a ton of press and <laughs> man machine. it's so great that this thing i feel like we started it here at your mom's house <laughs> which was purposely mispronouncing his name Bert Kirschner. doesn't no one has to try they literally can't do it um, <laughs> the machine himself joins us now to tell us more please she welcome drunk? comedian Bert Kirscher <laughs> He just takes oh it. Oh my God. Bert Kersher. It's she not sounded, that crazy. She sounded drunk, by the way. She's it's, like, I'm my favorite. Bert Kersher. <gasps> Bert Kersher. What is wrong with people? Then he did this thing very cleverly. Uh, Bert's so good at promoting things. And he fucking does this thing where he is taking like super famous people's Instagram posts and he does like a parody of it and then he tags them. So he's trying to like garner up. Smart. So he did it to Mark Wahlberg. Oh. And Mark Wahlberg, um, he... Uh, M Mark... Mark... Here he is. Wal Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Mark responded and, and did a video back to Bert. Nice. Bert Kaiser. What's up, baby? Don't just want to do this video. <laughs> no way! Yes. Bert Kaiser. Kaiser. Bert <laughs> Kaiser. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He's a world famous actor, that guy. Even yeah. he can't see. Put all see that way for the movie. <laughs> <laughs> put all that way for the movie. You put on all that weight for the movie. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Bert Kirscher. <laughs> fucking crazy. Mark Wahlberg's known for his workout vids on he the is. gram. He is. He's yeah. always, he, but he takes Sundays off, the Lord's Day, he said he does. He's up super early. Yeah. Doing his thing looks, and stuff like that. Looks great. 
Yeah, he's like 50 something years yeah. old, man. I'm telling you, 50 is a new 30. That's what I'm really telling is. myself. This guy is up <laughs> early doing this shit. Early AF. Takes and care of himself. Jason Mimosa, your friend. Jason Mimosa and my, uh, my good buddy JJ. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. JJ. Also, great genetics, up early, doing <laughs> yeah. his thing and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. How's the pit stop? You guys hung out a little bit in Europe. Did he fly uh, out to meet you? In yeah, he came Prague? to the show. We're going to yeah. go to whatever, F1 later. I don't know. So, um, <laughs> oh, if you missed it uh, on the socials, uh, my new special, um, <gasps> my new special Sledgehammer is going to be, uh, uh, what's it called? Do I have this thing here for you? Oh, yeah. Chips in a bowl. Chips in a bowl, my new special Sledgehammer <laughs> will be premiering on Netflix on the 4th of July. Yay! <laughs> America, America, America. So go to your party, set off your fireworks, blow off your fingers, and then watch Sledgehammer (laughs) on the 4th of July. It's going to be there. It's it's a fun special. I think you'll enjoy it. so amazing, Sikora. And what a great title. Sledgehammer is a good title. Um, I just licensed some music. I got a cool opening for it. I'm very excited for it. Very excited for it. Very amazing. This is a fantastic, a tremendous hour. I've I've watched you perform it and grow it, and it's going to be pretty great. It is. I'm so stoked for you, homie. I'm very stoked. Big deal. Um, Big deal. You noted, and I'm. Pri- I'm. I, I'd like to acknowledge you for oh. acknowledging me for my service, my military service. Um, I. Uh, <laughs> I didn't acknowledge you for your service. You know, I didn't tell you this. I did actually. But I've been. I've been deep. Okay. Deep in some of the VR <sighs> missions I've been on, and I didn't tell you this, but I'm going to tell you now, because mm-hmm. I know, I know how committed I am mm-hmm. and what I'm doing. Not just for myself, but for my yeah. brethren. Yeah. So when I flew back from Iceland, okay. I landed in New York okay. in the shithole that is known as JFK Airport. That's the worst. And I had to transfer, go through security to book the flight, to get on the flight to Austin. And we're standing around and we've been up since I don't know what time. And there's like a six hour fucking time difference. And then, you know, I'm wearing, I had this like 50 pound backpack on. But you're just, used to that. Yeah, but I'm just like, God damn it. You know, I'm just waiting and waiting. And so I'm kind of distracted. I'm kind of distracted. And they find, like, you know, people just standing around this gate. They finally pre-board the flight. And when I see the strollers and the cripples, they book, they get on. <laughs> then I kind of hear the guy. He's like, mm-hmm. and I walk up to the gate and I hand out my boarding pass. <laughs> and the guy goes, are you active U.S. military? And I took a second, you know, and I go, yeah. And he goes, welcome aboard. Wow. And I thought about it. I've, wow. I, I've earned it. I've been fucking, wow. at this point, I've been on like fucking 16 missions, I think. I don't know how many kills I got. I don't know how many people are probably alive because of what I've done, but I really feel like I, uh, I got that one for the right well, reasons. Well, yeah. you know, it's insane. No, he's been taking it to the limit. When when you came home from your tour, what did I do to honor your service? Well, you did something that I appreciated is you got uh, military welcome home balloons <laughs> and uh, <laughs> decorated the house with them. The house is fully decorated still. We kept it up just for an extra week so you could really enjoy them yeah. and salute them the all. The only thing, you know, the guy, he asked me. Yeah. He's like, do you have military ID? And I gave him like a, yeah. Look at I this looked bond. back and then he was like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like he, I think he felt embarrassed, you know, that was, I wish he should. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got to get one of those. I don't know how I'm going to get one, but I got to get one. A military ID. ID. Yeah. 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 Well, no one's going to believe that you're uh, an enlisted like soldier, I guess. Like you, you have to be like a lieutenant or something at this point because you're kind of old, right? Yeah, I'm probably a little higher ranking. Yeah. What? What's your? Yeah. What are you like a colonel? What Sergeant do you want major. to be? Sergeant major. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. a career guy now. Yeah, captain, lieutenant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, captain. I mean, I'm an officer. I'm not fucking enlisted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, you're an yeah. officer. Yeah. yeah. What? What rank do you want to be? I mean, I don't know. Okay. We'll have to, yeah, we'll have to submit for that, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, 
It's really cool, Tom. Yeah. I'm happy. Do you know about... that people are really like I have people DMing me that are like friends of mm -hmm. the show and they're like, is Tom really into this VR thing? I'm like, yeah. I wouldn't call it VR. Oh, sorry. Okay. But yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. It's called combat. Okay. That's anyway. like the first thing you did when you came home, by the way. Like, he hasn't seen his wife and children in 40 days. And then he comes home, and the first thing he does is lock himself in his office and put on those goggles. It was really fun. Yeah, I'm not going to leave my guys just alone. <laughs> it was really, really cool. Hey, guys, you guys figure it out. Come on. So, um, where's daddy? He's in Fallujah. <laughs> what do I have? It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, yeah. So, um, it was really embarrassing. It was not embarrassing. It was cool. The uh... Hi, this is Bob. Oh, um, I'm no. doing a uh, video from my cam, my webcam. Cam. Um, appreciate you getting back with me the other night. You, uh, <laughs> you're one of the few that, that have, and I, yeah. I would appreciate your understanding and cooperation. Um, please do share whenever you got to take a shit. Um, <laughs> I like every shit is different. It's true. You know, and he makes a really good point. And that is that every shit, Christina, is different. Um, yeah. We got some emails uh, regarding. Yes. Um, so Somebody this is who a, knows the guy. Yeah, this is an email we got. Hey, my name is Chastity. Wait, Chastity? Sorry, Chastity. And I watch your podcast every week. I just wanted to let you know that I am a waitress and I personally <laughs> knew Bob the blind guy. I would wait on him all the time. And he was a regular at my old job. I would love to talk to you guys about him because he was a super shitty person. <laughs> huh. uh, let me know if you're interested. Tia Chastity, I love you, mommy. How about that? He's a shitty guy. And, that... and he comes off all nice and like, hey, I'm just Bob. I'm into pooping. And... I like poop and aviation. Yeah. Yeah. That's always how it is, right? Isn't Presenting as a normal, nice poop loving guy. And she's like, this guy's an it. And you know who I, I do really res like listen to on stuff like this? A, a server. Wait staff. At, wait staff at a restaurant. And not if it was a one off. If it, when somebody goes, I, I served this person one time. Yeah. But a regular, like Bob was a regular. Yeah. You should I, be even nicer to the yeah, service. I kind of believe the regular stories. I agree. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because there. Is usually, that it? Is there more emails in this or just this one? Yeah. Usually you have rapport with your regular customers and they should be nicer to you and they should tip you better. Because you're, you're, reg you're the regular. Yeah, yeah, they're there all the time. They're taking care of you. So first of all, we, we trailed off on the uh, the cap report. We were going to We did. Do oh, that. sorry, yeah. the cap report. Don't, how dare you forget. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, and, and he's got a whole list of new things that he considers cap. Yes, thank you, Christine. Um, <laughs> no, thanks. That's right. Uh, there are a lot of people out there. Uh, you know what I'm most saying? of them, a lot yeah. of them are telling the truth. And shout out to them. You know, shouts out to the truth truthers out there. Yeah, the truthers. Yeah, but sure. uh, then there's people that just be capping, man. People that fucking <laughs> just cap all day. And and cap the one that we have to bring up today, yeah, yeah, is a collaborative effort between Heather and myself. We okay. determined that uh, ED erectile dysfunction. Yes, ED is cap. And I, I'd have to agree. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. ED is cap. Yep. You know why? Uh, because first of all, I've had sex with many heterosexual Jesus men and Christ. they get it up. Guys like to fuck. Yeah. And the only ones that don't are gay. And like, I'm just saying that every now and then you can lose your boner. Right. But for a guy like who, who's healthy and likes women, uh, so otherwise you're anything. gay. You're just gay. There can't be anything else going on. Nah, drug use maybe like prolonged heroin what about like a, a physical like a physical thing but ed you're right. just gay like i don't i think that yeah, guys yeah, like the, to f and you know what i mean they're always ready to go it's yeah, cap. the physical condition you're looking for tom is that they're gay yeah. Yeah. that's the physical, that's condition. The physical condition i agree so yeah. mentally and physically and emotionally the answer is you're just gay <laughs> so anybody that goes to a doctor we can save them the trip if you are a man of any age, and you're thinking about consulting with a doctor about an erectile dysfunction issue, here's your, you're just gay. Yeah. <laughs> get on grinder, bro. Yeah. You'll find, you yeah. get your dick hard now, again. here's the thing I would like to just play devil's advocate, if you wouldn't mind. I guess. To some of the listeners who maybe <laughs> fall into the category of having erectile dysfunction yeah. and happen to be homosexual. What do we tell them? <laughs> that... Maybe they're not homosexual. They're straight. They're, they're straight. They're straight. Yeah. That's right. So you're the just, thing is, you're just trying to fuck the wrong person. Yeah. Yeah. 
gotcha. it's so true. Like, you like guys again, are you guys are wise beyond your again, ears. Like the occasional, the occasional limp well, boner. I understand. Limp fine. happens. Happens. Drink whiskey. Dick, too much cocaine. Cocaine. Too many. Just LSD. Whatever it is, you guys are on that night. Yeah. But like, yeah, guys always want to. Guys want to fuck. Yeah. And like, if they're not, they're gay, they're gay. dude. I'm serious. This is fucking. I'm serio, you know like, the best part about this is that it's helpful to. <laughs> You know, the men out there who are like, I'm kind of embarrassed by this thing and I don't know if I should you're consult. Gay. Just yeah, try dude, a dude. You're just gay, dude. Let's try a dude. Yeah. It's awesome. It's so Stop good. Stop lying to yourself, man. Stop lying. Yeah, it's okay. Stop lying. It's That's such okay. cap. It's yeah. okay to you be, gay. be gay. Dude, being gay is cool these days. It's cool. Yeah, just it's, be cool, baby. Yeah, it's so cool, cool, baby. <laughs> 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 it's cool that you're gay, baby. Uh I do know this. I, so I, I learned. I heard this from a doctor, and I even think Doctor Drew said this. He didn't say he was gay, um, <laughs> but I I did hear this, and I I, I want to say he mentioned it too. That the number one cause <laughs> of erectile dysfunction amongst men mm. is actually the lack of usage. Mm. Meaning, so as as men age, mm. they start to have less. Like you know, a guy in his sixties is having less sex than his twenties. Low T. And if you if it, it, low T, but the less you use it, the less it is becoming erect for sexual purposes, the harder it will become to get an erection. Mm. So eventually, men who basically are you, like uh, voluntarily even celibate, like just not interested, Incels. they will be incapable of getting an erection. <gasps> that's really scary. So you yes. really have to use it or lose it. It's it's 100% that, yes. And, mm. But that's usually for... An older person. Like you know? like 60 and above? I think, yeah, you know, because like you said, the testosterone goes down, sexual activity tends to go down. Makes sense. But it, yeah, especially in that age group, the men in their 70s, like some men in their 70s are still having sex multiple times a week, right? Yeah, because they're not but gay. The ones, and they're they don't not have gay. ED, yeah. That's right. But the ones who are having <laughs> no sex, because they're gay, they end up not being <laughs> able to have erections. Yeah. And I think what happens with women's meows too is that it can actually not seal up. Yeah, technically, it's called uh, shutting the pussy doors. Shutting yeah. the pussy doors yeah. down. Yeah. No, I'm serious. If you don't, if you and don't is that use your gay? meow, is there, lesbians? Are they, le are they lesbians? Is that Definitely. Why? I, it's it, but this is interesting. This just goes a lot of women f switch right sexualities mm -hmm. on a spectrum, and yeah, they'll become lesbians. True mm. story. A lot of well, straight women turn to gayness in their later years because they don't want to ask the dude would, anymore. I just want to take this moment. I'm to so just happy to do that. I can't wait to shut it down. To the people listening and watching, who may have been perplexed by their <laughs> erectile dysfunction, yeah. and it, it must feel so good to them to know that they're just gay. Um, <laughs> and if you want to tell us about your erectile dysfunctions, uh, send us an email. Uh, put ED in your subject line. And it's um, your mom's podcast <laughs> at gmail.com. Your mom's podcast at gmail.com. There's no house in the email address. Tell us about how you found out you were gay and, <laughs> and how well, ED is and, affecting and, your life. And if you've tried treating your ED with yeah. gayness. Oh, yeah. Try also, it. tell us how it was Try resolved it. once you fucked a guy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Guys like to fuck, dude. They guys like, like to, to fuck, fuck as you point out and, and, I, and the nice thing too is that i think men are always kind of scared of like t topics like this and to know that uh women like heather who works here and you are like what are you fucking gay is uh is such a helpful thing to men that are feeling this way i think it's really cool yeah, yeah. you gotta shame them into behavior that's that it it's, so it's so effective it's so effective well, I'm just celebrating all the hard penises that I've had in my life because yes. it sounds like the numbers are multiplying. Normal, yeah. If they're normal and hetero, yeah. they're hard. They're hard. They're ready to fuck. So uh, <laughs> it's true. I'm very lucky that I I'm very lucky that I'm not gay. Yeah. Well, thank God you don't have yeah. ED. I would yeah. be so annoyed. You'd be annoyed that you found God. out I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, I didn't know you were gay. Yeah. I'd be so upset with you. Yeah. Like you waited 20 years to tell to me, tell you're me gay. you were gay. Yeah. It sucks so bad. Yeah. Fuck. Mm. Anyway, that's all I got on this. Okay. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. It definitely shouldn't go further than that. Uh, Jesus. What? Oh, no. That's so gay. Um, <laughs> that's so good. All right. Let's take a quick break. Sure. And we'll be right back. 
With so much of our world digitized or automated, why stick to old school mailing and shipping? If you mail or ship often, let stamps.com do the hard part for you. You simply print postage and shipping labels right from your home or office. It's ready to go in minutes, no long lines or complicated setup required. Postage rates just increased again. Luckily, stamps.com has the best discounts in the industry. They have amazing partnerships with USPS and UPS for unbeatable rates up to 84% off. Plus, stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping options. With stamps.com, all you need is a computer and printer. They even send you a free scale, so you'll have everything you need to get started. If you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through your stamps.com dashboard. Avoid the hassle and get started with stamps.com today. Sign up at stamps.com slash mom for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com slash mom. We are back and so is our guest. He's coming back to us and you can right now go to stavi.biz for tickets to his fall days. Give it up for Stavi! Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me. Great Thanks to for be coming, back. Stavi, baby. Um, Stavi, yeah. baby. I mean, you were just in the hall. You, did Dude, you know that ED is Cap? Can I just say, this is one of the most despicable... <laughs> This is one of the most dis one of the that what I just experienced as a member of the soft dick community. <laughs> this is one of the most wow. atrocious Thank you. five wow. minutes of ableism yeah. I've ever heard Thank you. on a fucking podcast. I was trying to stand okay. up for folks. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Well, well, wait. Soft your dick is you're gay if your dick is soft. Yeah. yeah. What if let's just say hypothetically, yeah. you're fat as shit. <laughs> what if you're an insanely fat, very horny guy who oh. also gets really fucked up and eats a lot of red meat. Yeah. Okay, let's just say. How you have about, some circulation problems. Have you some circulation problems. Sure. How about maybe you're not even that fat, but you have to take, have you ever tried to fuck while having to shit? Yeah. That's he right there. It. Yeah, but I'll tell you something. Real men. <laughs> that, that takes yeah, a little yeah. air out the tires. But yeah. No. That's not, you don't get but it full. My husband fucks through having to shit. We've talked about Can this I tell on you the this? show. Now, and if he had fucked. He's with never a, soft. If his his ass was empty, what you experienced, 25% better. Oh, I'm aware, yes. Well, there we go. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm just saying as someone who is fat as hell, sure. right, does like the fuck, has put my 65% hard penis, <laughs> mashed it into a woman and just crossed my fingers and hoped for just something awesome yeah. to happen. Yeah. And 25% of the time it does. And I'm like, thank you, God. Yeah. This is awesome. For, yeah. You know what I mean? As someone from that community, I can tell you it is not cap. I have struggled my whole life yes. with a soft penis, even when I wasn't this fat. And I am wildly We're fat right so now. We're so lucky that you're here <laughs> yeah. to step in and, and <laughs> yeah. say. I tried to bring some but, some reason to right. the conversation. Stavis, yes. Have you tried gayness? I'm, yeah. I'm open. That's the other thing. I'm not anti getting See, sucked have, off by a cute guy. Yeah. He it hasn't, hasn't tried happened, it, but I'm he, open to it. He's he not tried it. He hasn't tried it. So, we, so we, and he's like, probably, see, there you go, right yeah. there. See, I would tell you if. I, there's no way my dick is getting harder if I fuck a man. You don't yeah. know that yet. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm, I, can, I can do... Wait, are you fatter than ever right now? Uh, <laughs> it's close. It's definitely really? one of my fat eras. At the, oh. end of, at the end of this tour... Tours will do it. The dude, the tour... Well, I am... I was much. I was in much worse shape at the end of the last tour. Uh -huh. at the end, I took a summer break, and I couldn't even like... Like, my brother, I went to work out with him, and he was, like, making me do, like, what old ladies do after they have a stroke. Yeah. Like, I was I was sitting down. I was practicing literally sitting down and yeah. getting up. Yeah. Like, I was like, let's do some squats. He was like, how about you just sit on the bench and get back up? And I was like, oh, this is cool. This is like a warm-up. He's like, that's you doing squats. Yeah. Your squats is... So I was... I'm stronger now because I've been working out the whole time, yeah. but my diet hasn't been good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm in, tough. like... I'm in like bouncer mode right now. I got Where you. I'm like fat as shit, but I, you know. But you're lifting. I could, I could actually like, I, if the fight is very quick, I might win it. Sure. If it goes more than four exchanges, Someone I'm gas winded. You I'm out. gassed, yeah. right? But. What do you, um, what and do you, you just, like to so eat? people know, uh, congratulate, you just shot another special. I just so shot my special. Hey. Hey. I shot here in Austin. Yep. Great venue. It was awesome. So fucking fun. Shout out to everybody who helped with that. It was Truly incredible. Originator Studios, they're awesome. If you guys ever need anything in Austin, they're they're great. Yeah, okay. Um, Write my that boy down. Ben O'Brien directed it. Of course, Eldis, the Albanian mule who does everything for me. He's my guy. He's out there right now uh -huh. using your Wi-Fi, drinking your 
lattes. Let him have he's it. Gonna, yeah. He's going to go buck wild on whatever snacks. I promise you okay. that. Okay. He's going to eat you out of house and home in here. Good, good. Um, but yeah, just finished the special. And so I'm pumped, dude. This is like, I was sober going into the special. So the last two days I've just been tying it on, getting fucked up and yeah. eating like shit. Having sure. taco, you know, so many tacos. Sure. Mm. This is the place this to do it. This is the place to yeah. do it. Yeah. So it's nice. I'm, I'm hurting. Right I now. always have Just a celebratory and... uh, waffle after I shoot. That's nice. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Waffle's you have it delivered nice. to the hotel or I something? I just try to get one that, because I, I try to, you know. Yeah, you try to look good before and, you yeah. tape. And then it's yeah. like the day it's after, hard. I'm like, we're getting some sugar. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the that was the hard thing about this. This, I had to do it here because, like, some scheduling shit. And two weeks out, I was like, wait, this is the fattest I've been in years. <sighs> so it's like, it's like I had to go to a, I had to go to like get the shirts custom made. Yeah. Cause I was like, it's hard to, when you're fat as shit to get shirts that look good. Oh yeah. And so the <laughs> shirts are great, but then I was like, what if I get too fat in the two weeks it takes this guy to make this shirt? It and could. that was it can in happen. play. <laughs> yeah, it can yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this. It wasn't as, maybe it was his design flaw. Maybe I just got a little fatter. Yeah. There was a little. I would have liked a little more hang down. You did a li just a little more coverage. Did you? What did you wear? What kind of yeah. shirt was it? It was like a little, like a floral, like you know, I wanted collared. Cute, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Like That's a Hawaiian nice. short sleeve. Nice. You yeah. know, show the That's show the nice. chest hair, show the show the chains a little bit. Big dudes, like we can gain back shit quickly. Oh, dude, it's quickly. Fucking, I'll drop, and yeah. then it's like couple. Like it feels like a week of of like just. You know, and not being as disciplined, and you're like, oh shit, everything's tighter. Yeah, dude, I know. And then you well, get this... on a scale, and you're like, oh my well, god. I think that's a middle age thing because I'm the same way. Weight can pop back on. Oh yeah, so fat, so fast. <laughs> yeah, so fat, so fast. Yeah. Well, I, you right now, it's like I feel like Ben Affleck in Goodwill Hunting, where every day I'm like, it's the opposite. It's not one day uh, Matt Damon's gone. It's like I check in every day to make sure you're not fat again. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like, stay out of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's like if Goodwill Hunting, they were just always looking for Matt Damon to ask for his job back at the uh -huh. construction site. Yeah. Every day I'm like, please, Tom, don't come back. You're free. <laughs> You're gone. As much as I, I love you, to. fat as hell. I don't want to. <laughs> like, I don't want to go back. <laughs> I know. You know what, I, you know what I, the difference is now? <laughs> What's so that? So the difference is now when you are a certain weight, you you have everybody has a different um, like number that they'll be like, all right, I got to rein it in. Yeah. So now the number is just lower before I go, Right, I got to change. So like I was that tour in Europe, you know, we worked out almost every day. Yeah. So I would say like I probably didn't do something of the 40 days I was gone on five of those days. Yeah. And they were usually like crazy travel. We mm -hmm. did something almost every day. Yeah. But we were also eating, you know, like crazier yeah. meals. Of course. I mean, I immediately like when by towards the end of it, I was like, oh, we got to fucking rein it in yeah, so yeah. i brought i brought my chicken breast about working out Damn. every day so i've been home like yeah. just because i go i don't want it to be 30 pounds from now where i go oh, i gotta no. of course i gotta do it again restart no no, no, no for no. sure i mean i'm taking six weeks and just my vacation is just working out That's for good. six weeks and doing absolutely nothing yeah and then i'm hoping to just kind of slowly rein it in and then i'll never go on this kind of tour too much again i'll never be gone this was this, this long super aggressive yeah it was pretty aggressive i just um and basically, since the pandemic ended, it's been I've had a couple breaks here and there. But even when I was like, "Oh, I'll have a break," it's yeah. like it always two months would always end up being like two weeks off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like things would be like, "Oh, this opportunity." Scheduling this the thing. off time is important. Yeah. So I'm just like, it's not happening. The only thing I added in July because I want to do it is I'm doing Bert's doing a weekend with Bert. Oh, which, at the fully with, loaded with fully loaded, which will be yeah. fucking. That'll sick. be fun. I can't wait for that. But that's yeah. the only thing I'm like. Nothing else. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I gotta get fucking. Jacked. Well, you better yeah get skinny before that because yeah. <laughs> he has like barbecue after the shows no, and getting, stuff. It ain't happening before that. <laughs> that's yeah. this is my yeah. this is my time of debauchery. Yeah. Um, which is so funny because I was like, I was sober, uh, but I still got fat as hell. Like none of the rest of my life. I didn't rein in. I just didn't do drugs so that I could barely function. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like I improved myself. It was like, oh, yeah, I, I won't die. Yeah. Like, that was really what it was. And now I'm like. Do you drink, though? You do drink? I don't drink that much, no. but I'll have a, you know. What's your drink of, like, what's your drink of choice? I'm a little tequila boy. Yeah? I'll have, you know, I'll just have a tequila soda. I didn't even know. I was so, like, not well-versed on how so many drinks uh, worked. Because I just was yeah, yeah, was, like, yeah. a heavy drinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I didn't even know. 
that there is like, like I always thought tequila is like something you shoot and you go like this and then you're like, woo, like yeah, let's tie it yeah, yeah, That yeah, there's yeah. like nice, like sipping tequila. Yeah, absolutely. And then I, I, we got into gin and tonics on our, on our tour. Okay. And one of the promoters was like, do you like gin? And I was like, yeah, for like gin and tonics. And he was like, oh, you know, there's like incredible just sipping gins. And I was like, no. Some motherfucker so in a smoking up. jacket. Yeah. Drinking gin. He's like, this is more floral gin. Yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. brought like eight fucking different gins to this thing. And you I was can like, get into whatever. I had no There's idea. so many levels. I didn't know about it. Añejo tequilas okay. and, and how those, those taste like fucking milkshakes, man. Yeah. I just, I'm, I just like to have a little bit of, I'll, I'll try whatever kind of tequila, but I'm also not a huge drinker myself. I'm, weed is always, my, weed's my weed's problem. Weed's your thing. I get way too fucking, way too fucked up and just like, yeah, we'll just have a great time. Like we sure. were doing mushrooms by the pool and just getting and smoking weed. And it was like, I was like, this is the best day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I've never, I was looking forward to the day off after the special to do mushrooms. Sure. So much more than I was like. Than doing the special. Wow, yeah. a special in a beautiful theater <laughs> yeah. that I paid for That's myself. Hun it's cost hundreds That's of thousands of dollars. Yeah. This is a huge accomplishment. I yeah. don't give a fuck. I want to do much. I want to go get, yeah. get so fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Tell my friends, like, dude, uh, there's just one song that's awesome. Do you guys know the one I'm talking about? <laughs> I literally was there. I was like, dude, it's fucking so good. And, like, and everyone's song? like, what, what are, are you, are you talking about? I was like, ah, <laughs> fuck. Uh, you know. You know, it goes like. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's like, like the guys are like, fucking. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm with you, man. That's it was a good awesome, song. dude. Yeah. yeah, it was fucking. That was the best day of my But yeah, it's just like. So we'll see. Maybe I won't go. Maybe I'll get fucking ripped. Because I have gotten to the point where I like, where I actually do like lifting weights. I won't do cardio. Yeah. Like, but that's, I've tricked my brain enough to be like, it's cool to just, you know, be have big ass arms and big arms, little titties is what I'm trying to get to. That's the fucking that's, move. That's it. That's so, hot, dude. That's a, so but at least could big be, arms, little titties, limp dick. Yeah. <laughs> big arms, little titties. I'm not dick saying. Dick on 45% hard. to, but. <laughs> As your next tour name, that's pretty good. Big arms, yeah. little titties. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. I want to do a whole line of big arms, little titties, athletic wear. Oh that's my fucking God. fantastic. Bolt. Yeah. Bolt, athle bolt athleisure. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that you came here and put an end to this no, ED cap it's nonsense. It's crazy. It's crazy. You just know. You just and, opened and up And I'd hole. love to hear any counter arguments, but I just, I've, I'm, this is my lived experience. <laughs> I can tell you so many times I fucked with a limp dick. And that's the other thing. It's not, I'm having a good time just because my dick is soft. Yeah. It's like, it's like a mental thing, yeah. you know? So, and listen, sometimes you've got, if someone's a real team player, she'll really do a bang up job sucking your dick yeah. if it's soft. They'll be like, look, this isn't going to penetrate me. Yeah. As the, here's the other thing. I'm sort of like, the way I've, it's kind of been good for me fucking because since dick pills have come around because. Yeah. I feel like Daredevil. You know how he got fucking good as shit at everything but seeing? Like, I'm, I'm eating pussy the way he, like, hears. You know what I mean? Like, I, I finger the way Daredevil smells, you know? And so I'm good at fucking oh, yeah. be, with no penis whatsoever. Sure. I've learned how to fuck the way a butch lesbian, a lesbian fucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so now with the advent of dick pills... Sometimes I feel like fucking Superman. Yeah, I was going to say, like so my dick what's is your, hard as hell. What, yeah, wow. how does dick, dick pills must have been a game changer. Dick then. pills are great, but I will say there is something to a dick pill where if you take too many, and I'm fat as shit so the, the dosage doesn't work, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I got to take eight Advils. I'm not, I'm not taking fucking, I'm not taking Don't take one, five dick pills, one dick pill. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Tom. So I haven't taken five. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it has, it's so, not too far from that. What I'll say is if you over if you take too many dick pills, your dick starts becoming more of a a mallet than a penis. It becomes more of a weapon. Seriously? Just like a fucking you could literally hit your dick on a table and it's like you're not busting. You're not like really? I fucked this insanely hot girl and I was like there's no way I'm coming through soft. Yeah. So I went overboard. <laughs> I went overboard with the dick pills. Like yeah. this girl was out of control. Yeah, so I was like, like I can't show, I up, can't show soft up soft dick. with yeah. her. So yeah, I overdid the dick pills and I busted one quick one, of course. Yeah. But then the second one, there was no nut coming out yeah. for no, for nothing. Yeah. I couldn't. It was just one of those things where I'm like beating off. I'm like, yeah, no, give me a sec. Yeah. You've just been beating off for, <laughs> for like eight minutes, like uninterrupted, being like, oh, it's a, I'm about to bust. <laughs> and then it just keeps going for eight minutes. <laughs> and then the girl's just like, 
At a certain point, uh, her posture changes. Yeah. She stops acting hot. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> and I had to, but yeah, so that can be. Okay. It's, yeah, but you haven't tried gayness. There's you a still. treacherous. Still with the gay. I. The th- here's the thing. I am open to fucking a man. I don't yeah. care. But yeah. I just don't think that's going to solve it. I really okay. yeah. Well, I happen maybe to be. You'll uh, be this, more is gonna, this is crazy. I think I'm on Stavi's side on this one, <laughs> yeah. you guys. I, I think Stavi doesn't need to fuck a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. If for science you guys find me a really cute guy, yeah, who's like femme. Hey, you, you guys are out mean? there. You're watching the show. Maybe a he they. Make yeah. it happen. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, but it's got to be a guy. We can't yeah. go non-binary. That's no. cheating. A guy. It's not. Although it is queer. That's a fun. That's fun. They them is que- like yeah. You know yeah. that's. But that's not. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking full homosexual. Homosexual. So we need someone who identifies as a man. Yep. I'm willing to fuck for science. No dick pills. Yeah. You find somebody cute enough that I approve. If you, I'm uh, willing to try and fuck them, and we'll see if my dick gets hard. If that's you want to cool. fuck. <laughs> I approve of this message. This, this is, might be the best <laughs> podcast bit of yeah. all time. Let's do it. Let's do it. I am gonna. This is gonna go down in the books. <laughs> Email your pics to your mom's podcast at gmail.com. Now look, I gotta approve them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Right. That's what yeah. we're gonna have them For email. Science. They're gonna email. You put Stavi in the subject line, be <laughs> hot, be gay, and be ready to fuck, all right? But feminine. No, I'm yeah. sorry, fellas. He doesn't want a butchy fucking I don't, gay. I'm sorry. That's the, look, I, we all have our thing, right? Yeah. You got to be like a... I'm willing at least to get head. Okay. At least for a couple minutes to yeah. get my dick sucked and by like, if they, a you really want, cute guy to you show want, if I'm... I'm going to bust so fast. <laughs> I'm going to just be like, oh! <laughs> Hey, well, how about this though? But if I bust soft fast, yeah, that still that just means I'm gay. Yes. that yeah. doesn't mean your theory on hard dicks. Yeah, <laughs> you, oh, that's know what interesting. I mean? you know, like You're this right. could okay. we could get a really inconclusive. That's there could true. be no winners here. You know, I'm <laughs> just saying gay, and my dick is soft. Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> the only thing you could do then is just fuck more guys. Yeah. <laughs> Figure out. I just marry that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he has changed my whole life. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh fuck! Oh my god! That would change your whole life. Yeah, I'm open to it, dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm a man of science first and foremost. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Let's this get is, to the let's get to the bottom of this. This is um this is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> so your dick's never been soft, huh, Tom? I mean, never. I've had a, a <laughs> never. I'm telling you, the guy is. A, I, I've a had machine. you know sure. I, no, no, I've had some soft days. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I've had days where I'm like, this is it. Yeah, but you know. Like for the Not most part, me. I've been pretty yeah. lucky. Been I've fucking. been kind of soft with other guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> See, there it yeah. is. There's the hypothesis. No, but there's. I mean, there's been days when you're like, sure. this doesn't feel like a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, course, absolutely. I mean, there's also like, you remember too, because every guy you remember like high school college boners are yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah. crazy, out of control. Yeah. But yeah. see, also there's another thing of like nerves. Like I'm a very nervous guy when it comes to sure. You know, I've I've gotten over it, but definitely in the beginning, I was pretty nervous. And now, if I like a woman, it's actually the first time we fuck, my dick will probably not be at full mass. Oh. But that's a that's oh. a scare. That's a good thing though, because what this really means is that you're when you feel more safe is when you're performing better. And actually, so like in a relationship, you're right. going to be much. better Oh yeah, off. yeah, yeah. That's the irony. Is the one time I was in a good relationship. Yeah. Right. It was like a week before we broke up, but it was like <sighs> right before, like that we were riding that high. My dick got hard from love. So hard from love. There so you maybe, go. So it's go. not ED. Oh, fuck. Then it's not ED. I have to try and fuck yeah. this guy to get to the but bottom here's of the this. Thing. ED's cat. ED's here's cat. The thing, man. I was, le- I was less fat, though. Here's the thing, though. If it's about love. It's emotional. Yeah. Love is gay, so you're gay. Dude. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Loving a woman is gay. There are guys I get sucked off by that will be less gay than having like a beautiful family with a woman. You're going to have a guy fucking you being like, you think love is the answer? You're a f- <laughs> oh, interesting! That is so. We yeah. just have a lot of variables here. Yeah. There's this is such an interesting <laughs> thing. So, so many we can. So we have to, yeah. Um, speaking of, there, we showed you some of the coolest guys ever. Yeah, last I can't time. wait to see what kind of gay <laughs> pornography we watch today. Uh. <laughs> when that guy's that little fat guy's cock came out, I was like, "What the fuck is going on oh, here?" Here we go. Oh, that was um, the worst. This one is uh, we call him. This. Are the lights going down or am I stroking? I don't know. 
Am I? I thought the oh, lights yeah. were. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, my okay. name is Pete, and today I'm going to be demonstrating a new toy that I got. And the cool thing about it is it incorporates a power drill. Oh no. <laughs> and a flashlight, and your oh. hard dick. Okay, sorry. I just first of all, that sounds awesome. But yeah. second yeah. of all, I just realized I might be able to show you guys something. Really? What? I just thought about the fun, the funniest video I've ever seen in my life. It's called Two Straight Buds DP, <laughs> DP a Blow Up Doll," and it's uh, you're the perfect. I don't. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't oh, think of this what? sooner. Yeah, that sounds right up our alley. Uh, we Two, can watch this guy. Okay. it's called Two. I hope it's still on whatever site I found it on. <laughs> But it's called Two Straight, straight Buds, buds. <laughs> DP Blow Up Doll. And it's these two clearly closeted homosexuals that get together in a motel. They fuck a blow up doll together. Sure. They're wearing like luchador masks or something to hide their. Uh, but then I don't want to. Don't, don't spoil, spoil it. too much. But there is. There's a lot of. The, the premise is that they're straight. Sure. And they just hang out and fuck a blow up doll together as if it were a woman. It's normal. So there's. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> Perfectly normal. No way. <laughs> and these guys. It's a long video. There's a there's a really cool point at the end. Yeah. Where they um switch the doll. I Is don't lack wanna... of pussy bumming you out? Yes. <laughs> we got you. Cu- <laughs> God. So yeah, you guys are the perfect. Yeah. I wish I had thought it sooner so we could have gotten really the highlights ready, but... So, yeah, two straight buds hanging out. Check out those blow-up dolls. Hey, guy. Hey, man, what are we going to do today? We're going <laughs> to... This ain't a Meet in a motel room. Super 8. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have his mask on. And those, aren't even, those are the cheap blow-up dolls. Yeah. yeah. And they're two dolls. I thought it was so, one doll. And they're well, stroking think, their cocks like they're about to shoot a real scene. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, like they're like, women. Yeah, there's... <laughs> yeah, like there's women there. I think there's there. actually women there. And then you ask them, and they're like, there are women here. Yeah. There's oh, two. We're practicing for women. Getting agitated. Oh, yeah, so look, oh, he puts mask. his mask on. Yeah. Okay, he's getting ready to go. Oh. Yep, they both got masks on. Oh, God. And now they're, Proof. I guess yeah. they're getting head from the I mean, these are really start. shitty oh, blow-up dolls. <laughs> That's got to hurt, That's really right? what's standing out the most. <laughs> I know, I know. Is that these are like they're target gagged. dolls. Like yeah. They're for gags. Rough. Yeah, it's not a real it's sex not, you doll. You don't mean to fuck it. You're there, like, get it for your buddy's bachelor party. This like guy's in the getting corner. all worked up for it. Like, yep. Oh, uh, he's fingering it. What? Oh, he's yeah. fingering it. Oh, no, he's fingering uh, his asshole. Oh. No. <laughs> God, this is depressing, Stabby. Oh, I know, but... Ouch, I think it's going to hurt. Ooh. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Like that oh, cheap he's like, I, was, I like how he just sm- oh, he called it. an audible. He yeah. was like, ah, now I'll do the mouth yeah. first. And he's like, well, yeah, I, want, I don't want to be different. Ow. What is this friendship rooted this in This is here? an awesome friend. Well, to being straight, first yeah, and foremost. First and foremost. <laughs> yeah, I think we can agree these are two straight buds. I don't two know if straight you, buds. I don't know if you heard the title, Tom. Straight buds. It's two straight buds deep in the blow bowl. This is so now he's choking retarded. It's so clumsy. Why don't we yeah. fast forward to where they're fucking the same one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, they can't even, like, man- the dolls are too oh, blown man. up. They can't even... So man- now they're both yeah, they're getting... They're titty fucking them. And it's hard plastic, dude. That's that cheap no, plastic. Yeah, this feel good. Sucks. No. He's fucking its ass. He can't oh. even... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're just you and your butt out <laughs> Yeah, so the dolls aren't very oh, good. Oh, God. Holy fuck. Well, where did they get? Oh, they're, oh, they're yeah. DPing it. Oh, Jesus. One's fucking its ass. <laughs> now, if you... So, this is a pretty cool part in the whole thing. This is what, this is what I would, again, just describe as a straight activity that yeah. two straight guys would do. Yeah. Now, if we get closer to the end, you'll see they do switch to a... If you want to see, fellas, I don't want to spoil it, but there is a point where they switch to a different blow-up doll. Oh, thank oh. God, because they're going to pop this one. And oh. you see, now they switch to a smaller, clear, clear. one oh, where it's... they can see each other's dicks come. <laughs> so I think that's, again, what I would call a really straight thing to do. Yeah. Is <laughs> when I'm getting ready to bust. You know what's interesting is that it seems like they're having some ED troubles, but yeah. together, <laughs> yeah. well, they are when straight. they come together, they are yeah. fine. <laughs> okay, so you see that? Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> So oh, straight. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Their dicks are literally rubbing against each other. Two straight buds, dude. Two straight Just buds. Two straight buds, they being a blow up doll. Oof. <laughs> uh, 
It's like you and Bert would do this together. Right? Bert and I have done this. Yeah. Uh, this is next episode of Two Bears. <laughs> Look at this. They're in a it's rhythm now. so gay. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. They're so gay. Look, they're like oh. literally grinding each oh other's dick. Oh my fucking god, it's been years since I've seen this, but it holds up. This holds up. It holds up. It holds up. It's like stressing me out. Uh, oh, now they're moaning. Two and shit. stray buds. Yeah, it's interesting how when they finally come together, they can manage to come. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and okay. now I guess they busted. I think they busted. Yeah. On each other. <laughs> well, I don't know. I wonder if there's a. Uh, if different cavities have their own little... Yeah. yeah, but they're grinding into each other. Yep. No, you're right. Yeah. God, he, he's, oh, he's looking he's at telling her. her, you like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a woman involved. She just happens to be fake. It's so great, too, that, like, some woman could see that and be, this and be like, that's Henry. Like, yeah. you know oh, I mean? like, my yeah. God. Well, at the very beginning, he did... Oh, now they're just hanging Two out. Two straight guys. Just straight yeah, now they're like, that was great. Dude. I think they high five at a certain point. Yeah, we, sh <laughs> we showed her, you know. Where's the high five? Oh. In my head, there was a high five. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, just two straight buds, man. Yeah, that was awesome. A couple of regular guys. That I, was. It just came to me. I can't believe I didn't share this. with I you. I mean, two sooner. straight buds. Is, <laughs> two, yeah. two straight buds. <laughs> I if gotta say, not a lot traumatizes me. But that was <laughs> fucking terrible. That was pretty good. Like, I'm shook, dude. It takes a lot. Yeah. You need to pull that. You need to rip that video for us. <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah, dude! It's an honor to get something yeah. in the, yeah. to get yeah. something in the in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> now we showed you some of the classic clips before, yes, yes. but I realized we made a list of some things you hadn't seen. Great. So number it's one is I don't think you've seen Norm Summerton. He's one of our favorites. So. Oh, he's uh, one of the greatest. Let's see. Oh, oh no! Norman Summerton. <laughs> he's a pig. He's tit cups. Kick cups. Been in these babies for uh, seven hours. Now. Seven hours. <laughs> oh my god. No. Imagine a pig with tits. <laughs> well, it's time to take them off and have a shark. Please yeah. take them off. Stink up the high heavens. Oh, they Let's smell bad too. Off. They got to smell. Oh, there's one. Oh my God, dude. The other one off. Ouch. Oh, there's two. Look at these titties, eh? Look at these titties. Titty, 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 titty. No. I don't love these things, eh? I know I do. I love the weight of them. I'm not hanging on to them. I'm not hanging, hanging on to me. <laughs> Nothing but a rancid piece of bacon. <laughs> what the fuck happened to this guy? <laughs> what happened to this guy? Do you want to know what's crazy? Like what's that? He he used to be a mortgage broker. That's awesome. And yeah. if you if you do, go ahead and Google Norm Summerton, like Google his name, <laughs> like his face was so fucked up. Um, Miss Talon's a, cuckold property. Yeah, he really got into this and hit images, and that's him. The first wow. photo. So that's him when he had his day job. But wow. then he's retired, so then he got the forehead retired, tattooed. Retired, he got pig tattooed on that's his awesome. forehead. Yeah, that's so sick. Just leaned it into is. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> Honestly, cool. like, this is, is what he's been wanting to do his whole life. Yeah. yeah. And it's a little much, but, you it's know. A, it's a lot. Um, <laughs> to each his own. Catch you later on. Now, this isn't. I love the tone of it is like he's doing like a like he's giving you a recipe for like a pasta salad. Oh. You know, it's just like so of recipes. nice. Well, this is the thing. <laughs> it's funny you should mention. What we first, oh, no. the way we first learned about him yeah. was through one of his cooking shows. Uh, <laughs> he had a, a cooking video that that became famous. It was before really? he got his forehead before, tattooed. Okay, okay. Yeah. Before Hello. he had tit <laughs> Today we're going to make French Canadian poutine fries. <laughs> what are poutine fries? Well, poutine fries are basically your fries. <clears throat> cheese and a great appetite. Wow. A great appetite. Yeah, Just like your grandpa. So However, there's going to be a bit of a change no. in the recipe. No. Like to change the yes. recipe no, I don't want to change. It stresses <laughs> me out, too. Fries, cheese, no. pig shit, <laughs> and pig piss. Ooh, it's going to be a treat. No. <laughs> okay, so let's get... No. Ready? <laughs> This guy's cocking a little fucking cage. He's got a little cage. He pisses oh, through the cage. Nice. Yeah. Which, it's in his urethra, so I don't know how he's... Oh, oh, oh fuck. Yeah. No, dude. So we just mix that around. No. Mix it up. Make sure all the bananas are covered. You gotta have all the ingredients. <laughs> I take back what I said about his recipe. I don't want to... No, Watch no, this. no, no, no. No. 
Go! Oh. 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 Look, dude, that's disgusting. <laughs> that fucking sucks so much. Oh my god. Why did it come out so fast? Why did it come out so fast? so gross. Take the cheese. Jesus Christ. I literally. Mix. I don't even gag easy, dude, but that shit is fucked up. Canadian part. No, it, I don't want to watch me eat it. <laughs> don't eat it, Norm, please. I beg you, Norm, don't eat your own shit. <laughs> no. Look at this gooey turd. Oh my god. Cheesy crust oh. shit. Oh, oh good. Oh. 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 Why the fuck did it come out so fast? Uh. Why was this shit yeah. so bountiful? That, that's why I'm so impressed all the time is that the timing of the... How does he... He pisses through the cage and then he turns around and then in perfect shit time... so fast. And it's like a soft serve it shit. It was soft serve it's too. It's so good. It was soft serve. It was uh, fucked up. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I was close. I've never nice. been close to throwing up and watching anything, and that was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. How that does sucked. he eat it? Though? Are you looking for a new mortgage broker? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am thinking about buying a house. Oh my god! <laughs> like if I could pay uh, him in shit. Do you know? Wow, we got to get out of this. So I got to close this. Yeah, page. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Please. Have you? Uh, and he's continued to post his tit pics, but he doesn't post recipes anymore. No more recipes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, um, he he was he was a finalist for Food Network's uh, you, next All Star. But don't you feel like there is no video <clears throat> uh, better than this? This is it. This, this is, is the, the ultimate, ultimate video. Yeah. The ultimate. Him shitting so so fast much, and fat, much, and then eating it, and then eating it with French fries. Eating it was really in a crazy way not as bad as him. How fast he shit. Yeah, yeah. If I he agree. shit at a, if he shit at a normal, because you know what it was he was so excited to get his shit out so he could eat it. Yeah, he it was. was like shitting. It was, it was like glee. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't know your asshole. It and was like, like, you realize too that he made this probably because a mistress was like, hundred percent. You know, he somebody, was, so he was like, that's what he's like. Mm, he's I did so this for you, for Mistress it. Talon. And he gave her four thousand dollars. Yeah, I did what you said. Those ladies yeah. haven't figured out. I <laughs> know. I've Getting, always said that that would be my business. If I never got married and had children, I'd be a dominatrix. But, but the you kind could do of it now. you never have to actually touch a guy. Yeah. You're just like, make me a video, pig. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me uh, money, Findom. pig. Findom. They love Do that Do you shit. know, yeah. have you ever heard of the Good Morning Julia <clears throat> video? Oh my God, this one's so good. Th- did we watch that last time? I don't know. think we did. I, I, they okay. told me we didn't. Okay. So, um, maybe I've just seen So it. what it is, is a guy yeah. sent this video to a girl yeah. the day after he just met her in the parking lot of a oh, gym. No. It's so embarrassing. No. Yeah, it's 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 not like, it's not going to throw okay. up like that, but it. Imagine Can you take this he off. Had a, he had a parking cone in his ass while he was doing it. By yeah. the way, <laughs> and he, <laughs> imagine being a girl and receiving this like in the morning. This Hell is yeah. a psychological yeah. thrill. I love it. Yeah, this love isn't. It. That's a nice change of pace. Good morning, Julia. Oh my God. It's me, Joe. Just wanted to say hi. Oh God. Wish you a great day. Tell you that meeting you yesterday. Oh fuck. And getting a look at you was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. Oh yeah. You were so beautiful. You don't know how beautiful. You are to me. I mean, just, you're gorgeous. You're precious. But it's been sitting in my mind when you said to me you want to go back with your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Please erase him from your memory. Don't ever go back in the past. I know, because I've been there. I've been in the past. And I understand when, you know, if you're trying to find to somebody past. and you go on dates. Yeah. And nothing compares to your ex. But there is that better person out there. Mm-hmm. And Julia, I promise you, it is me. I will love you like you've never been loved before. I will cherish you. Day one. Yeah, I'll that's awesome. Feel like a woman, a real. Feel woman. like a wo- real and believe woman. Believe me. After you experience me, no. you don't even know who your ex-boyfriend is. Yeah, you're not gonna live. Open up your heart. <laughs> in your, arms. Uh, in your arms. Let's go full throttle. <laughs> you can see me falling in love with you. With you. It just I don't know. I just looked in your eyes and I just melt. Oh my god. Anyhow, I'm heading off to work. This is my cute little home. Everything you see behind me, I built everything. Yeah. Every square inch Hell from yeah. crown molding to chair rail <laughs> to floors to lighting to plumbing. 
doors, windows. <clears throat> Uh, so this is the type of guy you get. I'm a very handy guy, and uh, I'd love to build you whatever you want. You're a sweetheart. So I hope this video doesn't scare you. No. <laughs> That's how I, feel. I just want you to know that. That's okay? the best part. What forward, a beautiful um, end. A little self-awareness. Yeah. So very end. He's like, make it you're probably terrified. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh ciao, the f ciao. fucking kiss. I love oh, the baby. fucking, the goatee looks painted on. Too. Yeah, it yeah. does. That's a hardcore goatee. And also, they literally had a five-second conversation because we ended up talking to Julia. Mm. Yeah, we met her, the girl That's that, awesome. yeah. And she was, was she mentioning, God, she was beautiful, she was yeah. Sweet girl, the best <laughs> like, is so sweet. how he, he swindled. So what he did was, yeah, cause, cause, okay. the whole thing is... Just Kinda, from what I can guess, yeah, right? Yeah, go ahead. The fact that, if I had to guess, they they had an insanely fast conversation where somehow she brought up mm. that she's thinking about getting back with her ex-boyfriend. Which is a way to be like, I don't want to like, talk to you. Of course, you. one yeah. of the most standard, yeah. let me get out of this. Now, usually you don't have to deal with a lunatic on a parking lot. Usually it's like you've been on a couple dates with someone and you're like, this is my get out of jail free card. Sorry, my ex hit me up. I have to try it. So the fact that she brought that out on a guy she just bumped into. In the parking lot. And I'm going to guess. How did he get Go a ahead. number? Oh, this is. <clears throat> he brings up building stuff. I don't know. He offered to do free work or something like that. Or did he say he hit her car and they should exchange information? <laughs> it's, it's good I guess. Don't know. Here's, a, here's yeah. exactly how it happened. He's in the gym. Sees her sign in. Gets her name. No. When she walks out. He goes, hey, Julia. So she turns around, has a quick conversation, asks for her number, and she goes, how about I take your number? Mm. Puts it in his phone, and he takes her phone and hits dial. And it's not his? No, it hits oh, dial. Did, so just it, to yeah. make sure. Yeah, and it called, called his phone, so now he has her number. Wow. Then he sends her this. Fuck. Eventually, she shows this video to her friends, and they're like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, of course. And then they get her to do um, to ask him for a couple more. So he ends up sending another video, which we don't have in here, too. We should get that one. But um, it's pretty great. Yeah. Honestly, the more the, this is more humiliating than eating your own shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, getting to do another yes. video of this is so much worse. Can I worse. tell you why yes. I think this is the most humiliating video, in a way? Is that there's a part of this oh. video of this guy doing this. That resonates with everybody. Of where you go, I get. I've thought of it. You thought to do this, and but then like, you go, don't send that video. Don't, do don't make it. Don't send it. It's but everybody right. knows the Everyone feeling. Everyone feels this. There is something. There is a honestly part of what is so yes arresting about this video is the jealousy of this man surrendering to your most base whims. Yeah. Yes, he's free in a way. Exactly. He's exactly. free when you when you've uh, shed yourself of the worry of humiliation. Yes, you're the most. He, if he actually just, he put his heart out there, and you know what, it didn't work out with Julia, but maybe he found, he's gonna find his wife that way. Yeah, you're telling me there's not some bitch with way too big hair, you know what I mean? Like where's this jersey? Or something? I don't yeah, know. You some know what East I mean? Coaster that's gonna love. <clears throat> Can that. I see that packet? So I want to know. If I mean, because here's the deal, man, is that when you're in seventh and eighth grade, boys do this. For yeah, you. exactly. Yeah. And you, and you learn like you don't want to humiliate them, sure. but you're just like, yeah. ooh, like too that much. was too much, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. be cool, just play it cool. Of course, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, so that's that's what it is. Is that it's it's relatable. Like yeah. you know, it, it it's actually lurking inside you somewhere. It's lurking inside you, and it actually that's the thing is it makes you think of middle school. Absolutely. Because that's the first time you feel that, and you yeah. you go like, I think I love you more than anything. Right, I mean, right, right. But you also should know better at this age that that's yeah. not true. This is that a, you really would like to fuck this lady. Yeah. And who knows what the next after that is when you get a little moment of clarity. And be like, sure. Do I continue wanting to fuck her? Yeah, yeah. Do I actually love her? Or did I just want to bust? Yeah. On her face. Yeah. <laughs> like, did I see her and was like, that'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. To bust inside this lady. Yeah. And then you get a little mo mental clarity. Yep. And then you're like, wait, do I still? Am I horrified that she's still here? Yeah. Now that I've busted, no. Hey, maybe I do love her. Yeah. yeah. And that's where you go from there. But you can't tell in the parking lot. No. Well, and also the desperation, like he's so he just like is leaking yeah. neediness. Yeah. It's yeah. And it's so unattractive. Yes, unless like, you have a specific kind of mental illness. <laughs> like there is, you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's someone here who yeah. sees this and she's like. He's so romantic, and yeah. then they end up yeah. stabbing each other. Yes. You know what I mean? Like that's that happens. Like there's the this is part one half of dom a domestic abuse relationship, yes. but it could go either way. Yeah. The woman could beat him, or if he change if he tricks a nice lady, 
he beats her. It's yep. you know goes. Yeah, yeah, way, I agree. I it's they're, they're it's completely unhealthy. Here's a kind of uh, gets what this dude. famous d bag guy here. Um, you know, like oh, that's my favorite. Like, breakups are hard. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> ladies, ladies and gents, play boys and play girls. <laughs> Ooh, breakups are hard. This guy's we awesome. gotta realize. For, you know, a sexy Italian boy oh, like he's Italian. Me, the most fucking drop dead gorgeous guy in this motherfucking state of Utah. Okay. I can get any girl in the state. Okay. Good ass. Good ass. <laughs> we are out of here. My no favorite. shame, no game, baby. You want that old bull or that young buck, baby? Because I'm that young buck. <laughs> we are out of here. Good That's ass. awesome. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. By far my favorite. That guy's I awesome. I love this guy yeah. so much. That guy's awesome. Yeah. What is he even going for? We don't even know. He's in Utah. So like yeah. being Italian, it that's essentially being like, you know, Bolivian in Utah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's yeah. from being from Very South rare. America. Yeah. Like you're you're not they like everyone is so if you're not blonde, you're not white in Utah, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah and so true. he is and then he's also got Either the filters or he's got that's a foundation crazy filter. And he's on he's high as fuck. It's too. deep fried, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then his look at those little ass <laughs> eyebrows at the end. Yes. The grooming is awesome. I love the grooming. I love that he goes over the top with the grooming and, and he's, he's always like, showing and is he off scrubs? the watch. Is he like he's a not nurse? even close no. to ending the video and he's like, We yeah. up out of here. So you're like, wait a minute, are you just saying that yeah. randomly? Like yeah. you're not you're not done. And he's talking. Best. He's taking like yeah, he's talking, he's stealing like black culture. Yeah. But he's Italian in Utah. What what is he? The, what's the vibe? And who is he trying to fuck? Is the other everybody. thing? Everybody, I guess everybody. And it's nonsense. Like he yeah, just talks yeah. in circles. That's my favorite part. He's like, "It's a good day, so have a good day, but have a good day and be responsible." Woo! Or it, like you didn't make any sense, bro. This is the most Gen Z like addition to the <laughs> pantheon. Yeah, because he has that like he is an entertainer first and foremost. First and foremost, yeah. that's what he cares Whereas about. The other guys are sexual deviants yes. first and foremost. <laughs> Who have to begrudgingly yeah. like <laughs> capture how horny they are on camera. Yes. He loves being in front of the camera. Almost, he loves it. Being horny is almost secondary to performance here, <laughs> yep. which is very it's really interesting. And he, it's, his, it's his narcissism is that you know he just wants to be admired. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, There's yeah. not like the other you know Norman. You can tell that guy is getting a true sexual thrill out of his fat tits, right? Yeah. But I don't know if, if this guy. You could you could tell, like I could imagine Norman getting like. You know, <laughs> like a some real big up his ass. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, sure. and being like ah, uh, crying, but he's smiling. Yeah. You know, you see a little glint in his eye. Yeah. You know that guy's good to go. This guy would actually be interested to watch have sex because I don't think he'd be that good at it. I don't think no. so either. I think we're losing something with how ev the generation is trying to be. It's so performative that. We've lost that animalistic sure. horniness. Yeah. I think the, the authenticity is what's lacking yeah, here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's all marketing and no meat. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. I'm <laughs> cracking a couple cold ones. I've already went through a you know a, a twelve pack, but we up out of here. I'm about to go get me another sixer. You know what I'm saying? It is the weekend. Cheers, everybody. Drink responsibly. <laughs> you know, take your Ubers. You take know, your take Ubers. your you know caps on because you know it's all about drinking responsibly. Yeah. Hell you yeah, know, brother. You know, take your Ubers, take your cabs. Do not drink and drive this weekend. No. Nope. Don't do it. It's bad. <laughs> Anyways, we up out of here. Got me a cold one, and we, you know, we doing it and moving it, baby. Let's do it. Yeah. You what know, are we doing? 2020 Got is right it. around the corner. Got it. Uh, Ooh. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> this guy rocks. This cracks. Is also the best is that you're saying God, so absolutely good. nothing. 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 You know? Feeling dead we air. We're out of here. We moving and grooving. You know what I'm saying? Drive. Be responsible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's Italian. I think he seems like the kind of guy who's. <laughs> Hispanic and pretending to be Italian. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, the one thing of substance that he take said is to be yes. responsible, take your Ubers, your Ubers. Drive. Yeah, d ring and drive. And then. Ooh, just got out, baby. Salt Lake County. Let's go. Hell yeah. Ooh, Fuck yes. Hey. <laughs> Tony. It's the weekend. Salt Lake County, baby. Salt Lake County. Just got out, girl. Let's get it. It's a beautiful day, baby. We doing it, and we we're, moving it, baby. We're moving and doing it still. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's rambling. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. And like, <laughs> Ooh, I did a week, baby. He did a week. <laughs> did a week, baby. Just got out, and we are fighting here. Ooh, I did a week, baby. <laughs> yeah. And then you know. 
I just want to say that I'm <laughs> the reason why I'm wearing this fucking yellow fucking weird thing <laughs> is my ass is going to be doing community service for the state of Utah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Isn't that like awesome? Him. This guy rocks yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's always the weekend too. Like he's just got simple needs. He just wants to get faded and party on the weekends. Yeah, I mean, this nothing is, wrong with that. This feels like a guy who gets turned out very shortly after yeah. these videos get posted. <laughs> this feels like he's going to be selling boy pussy soon. Yes, you it know, does. like it just. I just want to say, if you guys hey. see me up on the freeway picking up trash and all this bullshit, <laughs> uh, feel free to honk your horn. <laughs> you know, feel free to say, "Hey, Tony Jones, ladies man, out the window, <laughs> and I'll wave back." <laughs> the yeah. best. This is awesome. This one's the best one because yeah. he finally there's cracks in the armor in this one. Yes, yeah. where it's like you see he's self conscious about doing yeah. community service yeah. and he's trying to get ahead of it. Exactly. He's, yeah. trying, to, he's trying to be like, dude. <laughs> That's a very. You astute. see me yeah, doing yeah, community yeah. service? Honk. It. I'm. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I, it's like, and in his head, it'll be like they probably saw my video. Not. They're honking at me because I'm a vagrant on the side of the road. I'm, I'm trying to repair That's my debt to society. 100% what's this going on. This is him setting up a very minimal like protection for his weak mind. Exactly. He for his, like, yes. his broken ego at this point. He it's, needs he needs um, uh, plausible deniability. Yes. That he's not being mocked. I put it out there. I, was, I got ahead of it. You know what? You know what, King? I'm, I'm flaming game. Yeah, hell yeah. You were a cover-up this whole time. We are body. <laughs> I'm actually gay, baby. So you know what? On to the next. I'm, I'm gonna go on a date with a with a hot ass guy tonight. Cause you know what? This whole time, Katie, you were a cover up, baby. We are body. Cover up, Katie. Cause I'm gay. Yo, my name is Tony Motherfucker Johns. His John's face is kind of getting. Man. I'm currently in a sticky oh, situation. Oh yeah, he's on meth here. You know, I got here. no yeah. fucking money. I got no motherfucking wheels. No, this like, guy's not real. License. Yeah. Oh, and it's Tony. super crazy. You know, I've been going through a lot lately. You know, I've been going through a lot of shit. You know, no fucking friends. Oh, the government's Tony. fucking trying to fuck me over, and I'm pissed off. You yeah. know what? People don't know me for the real me. Dude, I, I hate have when anxiety. the government does I have that. anxiety attacks. <laughs> you know, I got bad ADHD. They don't know me for me at all. I got some nice ass fucking teeth. I got some nice motherfucking attributes. You know, nobody wants to hire me. Everybody thinks I'm a motherfucking criminal. Which I'm not. I was wrongfully accused, <laughs> and I don't have a criminal fucking record. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm I'm uh, I'm doing this video just saying, hey, fuck the law, fuck the government. <laughs> okay. So it's a fun ride, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So the, he yeah. fully like I was joking. I didn't know we'd have the the yeah, whole, whole story. narrative. Yeah. Hundred percent, he's on fucking amphetamines. Yeah. yeah, and he's about to start sucking dick for for meth. Yeah. Like so. Yeah, you shoot. nailed it. Wow, yeah. you he really did. called yeah. that. Yeah. Really that was good. I it. could feel it. I could feel it yeah. coming. Through. He also is definitely gay. <laughs> yeah, like, from the gay. jump, he's been yeah. homosexual. Sure, yeah. but yeah, but he you doesn't can have tell ED. It. Doesn't have ED. Well, we don't know. He knows. Did he said about. Did he talk about it? He just says he's a ladies' man. He doesn't say his dick is hard or not. We'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out if his dick is hard. Hopefully he brings that up. Poor Do Tony. You, this is something too that we, we just covered on the last one, but it's so exciting to me. Please. Which is the law. Do you Jesus. Do you follow Humans of New York? Um, I haven't followed them recently. Yeah. But you know the, I know the thing. Yeah, yeah. You, it so, was big. It was huge. It was like a huge Facebook thing that still, yeah. they'll still have some um, Let me see here. So so it's like shit like mm -hmm. this, right? Um, photo of somebody. And yes. it's just a little recap, like a summary. Like Fully, this one yeah. is like... I used to say I like to watch TikTok or YouTube, but I don't really like to describe myself that way anymore because if you think about it, that's not really something you do, something that pulls you in, made me feel connected. Like I know this person, but I don't really know them at all. And you're like, okay, that's yeah. like kind of a, a cool yeah. snippet, a summary of this person's yeah. moment. An old couple on a subway, and it turns out they met at a Chinese restaurant in the East Village 40 years ago. There you go. Yeah, that kind of, they always have a cute little narrative. Can you pull up the image of, I, I actually, so this is, <laughs> yeah. I'm purposely... <laughs> Not giving you the text on the okay. screen. And I actually want you to read his quote. 
Okay, great. Dad, I, feel gonna, like, I have I it for feel you. like he's. What What do you feel? Because yeah, I'm what do very you feel intuitive. From this guy? You are intuitive. Yeah, you kind of nailed it with Tony Johns. I'm curious to see. I mean, clearly is, he's. Confident. Is he HIV positive? <laughs> <laughs> he should be. He should. He know he might be. <laughs> I think he might that, be. That, right? is, that <laughs> is a look of. It doesn't kill us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's that's like a, yeah. I tr I was skinny, I was at the <laughs> bottom, but I've been fucking working out. It does, there's hope for you if you get it. Like Easy that's tea. that's like that. I've I've have my power. We're living like, into our sixties now. Exactly, exactly. Like that's kind of that was kind of the vibe. <laughs> that uh, or like trans vibes. I thought that true. he might be a trans. I could man. see trans. Yeah, I could see it's, trans mask. Here's the thing. His actual quote is so. Is he amazing. a former white supremacist? <laughs> uh, that could be that too. <laughs> It does feel like it's, it, and the look is like hate is actually ignorance. Yeah, yes, yes. And yes, I learned. Yes, yes. Hey, we got a black friend now. He's behind me wearing a red tracksuit. <laughs> right. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'd love to read this. Okay, I kind of. So you, I struck out. You read this out loud. Great. And this whole thing is what's posted next to his photo, and it's awesome. so amazing so that insane. I just we can't stop talking about <laughs> okay, it. Okay, but sorry. this is real. We didn't write this. Okay. This right. we'll show you that it's actually on the screen. All right. All right. You go ahead. <clears throat> rub, rub, rub. Like porn star level sex. Ever since I was a teenager, I worked as an exotic dancer for a long time. I used to have long red hair. I've been on the cover of romance novels, and I've also been gifted with great hands. I once wrote a book called The Extension of the Female Orgasm. I lost it in an old computer. But needless to say, I can make things happen with the human body. I'm kind of lucky downstairs, and I've done the work. There's pumps and stuff that can make your ding, dun, ding, ding thicker and longer, but mainly I've been gifted with the willingness to listen. When women give you guidance and you're willing to listen, there's no limit to what you can do. I once provided thousands of orgasms over a five-year period without ejaculating a single time. It's called Montak Chia's Microcosmic Orbital Energy Raising. It's a Taoist lovemaking technique where you don't release your seed. Mm. You put all your vital energies back into you and spiral your electric body to create a powerful connection. Too powerful, honestly. It needs to be disclosed because most people don't even realize you can take sex way deeper into an abyss of orgasmic pleasure. It's intergalactic if you do it properly, but there's a dark side. One time I went to somebody's house that I hadn't seen for two years. We were just having dinner. But then I go to the bathroom and I open the vanity mirror, which I know I shouldn't do. <laughs> but I did, and there's an altar to me with all these pictures of different candles. I had to learn that I was hurting people emotionally, spiritually, and even physically. That's awesome. Uh, because, they're, because they're probably never going to reach that level with someone else. Just me. My dick is so good it'll ruin a bitch's life yeah. when I take it away. I'll have this bitch buying tea candles and an a 8x10 glossy headshot of me. Uh, imagine having the perfect steak at your favorite restaurant, then eating nothing but dirty sock soup for the rest of your life. I never wanted to hurt people. I love people. I'm trying to be a better person. And part of being a better person is to put the other per person's feelings first. So now I tell people right from the start the complete honest truth. You're an amazing person and enchantingly beautiful, but I'd rather just be friends instead of having amazing sex that is probably going to make you hate me. <laughs> I mean, That's... Out That's of real. control. Just humble. Just so a this little. Guy's, that, this is legit? What this are the, some is, of yeah. the comments? The comments are fucking incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Can we see the comments? <laughs> yeah. I mean. Like, come on. The dude. guy's what, audacity? That is fucking wild. I can't believe. And yeah, that look. What happened here with this fucking guy? He said he used to be a, he used to be a stripper. And then he was on the cover of romance novels. He was so attractive. Hair. Like he's like, I'm so attractive. <laughs> that happened to me too. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> sir, this is a Wendy's. Yeah. Say yeah. my the only one thing he's being genuine, not just looking tooting his own horn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Porn star level sex. Oh yeah, you know, uh, when someone's scared and has to fuck for money. <laughs> when someone's been ripped from their family in Bulgaria. Yeah, exactly. Told she she could get a visa and then when she gets here, the guy's like, suck my dick for shelter. The words Taoism and ding ding should be separated by a minimum of a thousand words. <laughs> you want to gain my trust. An altar to this guy. That's yeah. fucking hysterical. Yeah. Now he... <laughs> He's got almost nothing. He can't have anything else going on, right? I don't know. If don't this is know. true and he's this good at fucking, he must have no other. But that's the thing is that, that I was like really leaning on. It's like in comedy. Yeah. 
the person who goes, I'm yeah. so fucking funny. I'm the is, funniest. I'm the man. That, like you're like this person is, is <laughs> garbage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the really funny people <laughs> never do that. No, no. Somehow I just got gayer. <laughs> I've yeah. seen and heard of this dude, not in the sexual way, but in a decent way, in a decent guy. He has an animal rescue organization and always downtown with like eight or nine dogs, but have never known his name on Insta's. Is that his <gasps> real name? That, Let's find that, him. That can't oh, be. Oh, is that him? That can't be. That'd be awesome. Bro. Is that him? That oh, dude's Jack. It is. is that him? No. No, that's not our Wait, guy. Wait, he's got a hat. That's him? He's got the tattoo. Oh, oh fuck! Okay, wow, so, so he's close. a fucking door. He's a rescue guy. That's and actually makes pretty cool. Girls come, and he treats dogs. Yeah, he takes care of dogs. Wow, maybe Scroll honestly, hold this. on. He might actually. I know. He might actually be that good at fun. That's him. Yeah, that's, that's him. him. And he's got a look. The guy's jacked. He's totally jacked. He probably and if he's got a hard, big ass dick, and he loves animals and like Buddhism and shit or yeah. Taoism, whatever the fuck that is. But the, I mean, the copy is insane. The copy it's is insane, insane. but you oh, know let's what? See, let's see. Does he, is he, he talking? Yeah. Good morning's going, but mine, mine is adorable. Oh, <laughs> Rocco. Dogs. Oh, look at this. Look also, at Mr. Climb this. Up. Look at Mr. Climb Up. Oh, oh what a cutie. Mm. If you, if you got tired of fucking thousands of chicks, you know what you'd probably get into next? Dogs. Fucking dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, is there a sinister part to Rex K9 Rescue? Is this how he stays good friends with all these women by fucking all these German Don't shepherds? Don't give the dog food off your plate. Here's he's another, gonna get diarrhea. Next. Here's another. We got? Here's another misogynist take is on he this. Doing, oh, he's doing the fu uh, the fuck up. Oh God. He's doing the glue oh, yeah, raises that make you raise. be able to fuck better. Yeah, this makes so this is awesome. This is incredible. This is exactly <laughs> what the guy who wrote that does at the gym. You're right. He does like yeah, those hip thrusts. Hip thrust. Oh, oh fuck it. Yeah. That's oh, a lot. He's doing the, oh yeah. my gosh. All over That's an power unnecessary range. amount of weight too. Like to get to work this out. <laughs> and you, know you don't what need to do it. You know what else that means though? He'll fuck a fat bitch too. Yeah, he sure will. And he definitely has, and he's definitely done an awesome job. Oh, yeah. and that's why they're obsessed with him because he's fucking nasty. I fat think he's toes. fucking everybody. Who's yeah. obsessed? Oh, the oh. So that's right. why they're like, oh my god, you're so amazing. Maybe he's not fucking hot chicks. Well, there is something too. Also, it's the a good type point. of person who makes an altar. Maybe we're talking about a fat Wiccan type bitch. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like we got there a real... He's getting yeah. ready for her right there. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, fuck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's banging three. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Anybody that's into dogs, yeah. I think they're good people. I think so too. And here's You're the other a good thing. person. Here's a, I was going to say the misogynist spin on this is um, <laughs> if you're training dogs, you, you're probably... Let's hear you could probably sexually train a bunch yes, of dog bitches. Yes, I agree. Women. <laughs> <There's> some, <laughs> you treat women like dogs. <laughs> There's something dominant and yes. domineering, yeah. Watching the fight. I will say this. This is what I'm doing. If his this thing is, what I'm doing. is banging, if he was banging like fives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Then getting co totally obsessed on him makes a lot of sense. You, like, know, you know what I think about this guy? Mm -hmm. I think he bangs through the whole scale. Of the whole, all I think the he numbers. goes one through ten. Yeah. And probably pretty evenly distributed. You're probably and, and, right, but I'm think, saying five and below is who right. makes shrines. Yeah, that's yes. true. But yes. also, here's the other thing: really hot because there is a beauty to this guy Go to the next yeah. that he just is who he is. Right. Right. He's not putting on airs. No. There's no desperation. He's not doing any hello, Julia's. No. This guy's like hello. I'd love to take you out. This guy's like this guy. Legitimately, has gotten to the point in his life where a beautiful woman starts talking to him. He's like. I can't fuck you. Even if she hasn't brought it up. He's yeah. already thinking like, yeah. she's going to be sad when I tell her I can't fuck her. Like, that's where he is in his head. And so I think so if you the... come at someone with that kind of level of, even if it's unearned, but that kind of level of like blind confidence, hot women don't usually get that because most people don't approach sure. hot women. So I think he's even probably, he's in the mix for getting even very hot women. Yeah. If you just treat them like they're not on a pedestal, which I think this guy treats everyone exactly the, the same. same. Dog versus like. He so be, you is your I mean? take on this that this is genuine? I actually am fully, I'm fully of, uh, I'm on this guy's side you actually are. now. Okay, yeah, hold on. I he's on the he's subway right. here. Let's see what. If I'd love to see a throwback. I'd love to see. You're asking me, how's my cut? How's my cut? How's my cut going? Oh, it's going good. Great workout at the gym. Oh, right. Now Ray's candy store. 
Oh, Ray's Candy Store. Time for abs. That place is awesome. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want that. I definitely want sticking that. sticking his tongue out. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I fucking hate that shit on. So I hate heart hands and I hate sticking my tongue out. It's, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I don't. So the thing about it, it is truly insane. Okay, oh, so there we it's go. It's the first sexual thing we've seen. Okay, but it's more of a it's spiritual art. connection. It's more, yeah, that's true. Do service. Okay. Okay. What is he doing more hip thrusts? Is that all he's doing? <laughs> he's like, I will fuck you through the ceiling. This guy's fucking 540. <laughs> oh, yeah, this does hip thrusts again. <laughs> he's doing it with 540. That's awesome. Gosh, the internet is such a gift. Do now, we can do he, a deep dive on this. Has he guy? only fucked women? I feels like fucked up that he has right? a couple guys. Yeah. That feels that feels like well, rude. Maybe he had ED. You know, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, but true. he's saying that he won't even fuck bitches now because he doesn't want to upset them. Well, look, I'll say this, Rex. I hope Hell you reach. Yeah. Out. I hope you reach All out. All Rex to is doing is there's bitches. What? Oh, with them standing this on the, guy's the bar? Man. Is that what they're doing? They're yeah. standing on the bar. Okay. He's like, oh fuck you guys. This is definitely a flex of his sexual prowess. hundred yeah. percent. It's a, it's implied. It's an implicit yeah, sexual a, flex. Yes. Yeah, and then it has them going. Wow, oh, I bet he could really. That's pretty cool. No yeah. joke. Respect. Yeah, Rex has won me fully over. You're a big Rex <laughs> fan. <laughs> that fucking look. Um, oh. we got to reach out to Rex. Okay? Absolutely. Sure yeah, you got to have this guy on. You got to. I get, must you know be more. The the story. And I want to hear about this astral banging that he can yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's true. We didn't even get into that. He, he can fuck orgasms. you into a different dimension. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't nut for five years. See, that's the thing. This guy has this kind that's of discipline. Weird. I don't think he's lying. You think it's genuine? I think he's actually didn't nut for five years or whatever the fuck he said. Yeah. Damn. At least for a long time. Longer than I've ever not nutted. I'll tell you that much. Five years is a long time. That's too long. For Especially if you're actually having sex. That's different. I once you're provided sell of it. a five-year period without ejaculating a single time. Yeah. I mean, he's disciplined, clearly. The guy enjoys a life of discipline. Yeah, so, yeah, that's true. Maybe. I mean, this is, don't get me wrong, one of the most insane things I've ever read in my life. <laughs> and the fact that he's like, yeah, I wrote a book I lost in a computer. <laughs> that's the best. I wrote a book about making no girls backups. bust. Yeah. And it's gone in the computer. It's in an old yeah. computer somewhere. Yeah. I would love this. There's nothing, no Google Drive, no nothing, Rex. Nah, no oh, I need Drive. to read that. It's crazy. Um, it's called Montauk Chia's Microcosmic Orbital. Is that anything? Him. Can we Google that? We know that. This yeah, because we, we know a guy who teaches that, actually. Okay. Um, we really do. <laughs> what we, a Rolodex this show has. Yeah, this, oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy. Let me. So his name is Rex, and he's into yeah. dogs. I never would have guessed. I, we thought Eric was his name, and that he worked at Whole Foods or had something to yeah. do with Whole Foods. I the dog thing like the I health. can really see though, being a guy who's into fucking and like dominance and all that, yeah. and discipline but, and everything. And um, so the women practice on the egg. What do the men do? Okay, the men the first thing <laughs> this is how you do it. They have to practicing. They we call sharpening Ugh. the knife. Yeah, yeah. So the whole key is very simple. You get the oil. We call the Ugh. the baby oil. Baby oil. <laughs> okay. And you put it oil. in. Uh -oh. And now you put the penis to warm it. In, in, in the cold winter, you warm them up. You get a hot towel. Okay. And you make it a warm. Okay. And you put it here. Make sure all the blood flow. Oh, yeah. Now you get the penis out. Yeah. You pull the skin. A lot of people, they never circumstances. <laughs> the so they have the skin. So you pull the skin and you get the oil in the hand and you rub. Hand go like this. You rub, rub. Rub, rub, <laughs> especially on the gland penis. Rub gland. them 50 times, <laughs> yes. Okay. Because what you the make them strong and not sensitive. Mm. 50 times, one, one uh, right side, 50 times left side, 50 times front, 50 times back, wow. 50 times down. It's like A that. lot. Down. Okay. How often am I doing this? You have to do every day until you can control. Every day. That's a lot. Okay. Who's so sharpening the knife? Guy. That's you're sharpening the knife. Okay. All right. If you don't sharpen the knife, that's the number one. 50 number strokes. two, yeah. you have to. When men ejaculation, the pressure of the ejaculation is from the prostate and contracting. Okay. So I'm exercising that. You muscle. exercise one. Okay. And for people who have prostate gland swollen up or problem, this one will solve their problem. Okay. Just that contraction. But you need 300 times. 300 strokes you got to do. 300 strokes. I'm sorry, but didn't he say when you And bust? now you do it until you feel orgasm. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> orgasm without ejaculation. Right. 
Yeah. yeah. So Without you feel, ejaculation, see? So you see, you when, you do, when, when you get it, it's very quick. Two, three times you get it. You, when you squeeze, it's the orgasm coming up. Good stuff. That's awesome. Tom wants me to have sex with this guy. I want, him, I want her to have sex with him. I do. That would be awesome. That's like Yoda being good at lightsabers. <laughs> yeah. You'd never think Yoda is a, a mighty warrior. This guy probably can make you bust in ways you haven't even seen. That's what I'm of. saying. I'm trying to hook you up. <laughs> trying to hook you up. You guys trying to open it up? No. no. <laughs> only with, with him, yes. Only with Asian mystics? <laughs> yes. But I don't, can, is it, but how does the guy come without busting? Because isn't that the nature That's what of it? I mean, it's telling you that you're it, feeling like an internal. I don't know. Orgasm. And I'd love to find out. Yeah. Try, will you try this? And on top of having sex with a man, if he's cute, will you sharpen your knife? I the problem with the sharpening my knife, I love it in theory, but I just have such a hard time sticking to a routine. Yeah. yeah. So I think I would do it probably for three days, and then I would just get bored. Like I just started yeah. brushing my teeth at thirty. Like I, when I turned thirty-one is when I started brushing my teeth. Sorry, Seriously? what? So it's been like the last three years of my life. Seriously? I, You've never when brushed... I lost my tooth, I was like, I should start taking care of these. And so it's been. That's wild. I just started flossing this year. That's that's you know? more normal than you think. A lot of yeah. people will fuss, but you just never brush your teeth at all. I do now. No, I do now. But, but I'm before. saying before, when I was in my twenties, I would do them like every couple times a week. <laughs> you really? Know what I mean, yeah, my teeth were fucked up. And then, did you get them? You know, checked on? Yeah, and they were fine. Wow. I mean, I had I had one. Obviously, I lost the tooth that yeah. I didn't have for a while, but uh, no, no big deal until. And then once I started losing my teeth, I was like, I mean, also. You got to remember my dentist in Greektown in Baltimore was just like also the guy who owned the diner. Like, yeah. like he was such a piece of shit. Like actually, may he rest in peace. Yeah. He's actually dead now, but he's a good guy. He wasn't a piece of shit, sorry. Uh, good guy. <laughs> still love the diner. Uh, but there was definitely times where it's like, this guy's not doing shit. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know what I mean? Where it was like, the only time we'd ever really go is like if somebody got their teeth knocked out or, and when your parents are so overworked, yeah, they don't have time to be like. They would say brush your teeth, and you'd be like, okay. And they just wouldn't check. Like, sure. We used to be like, no, and then my mom would make us brush our teeth, and then yeah. I'd just be like, oh, I already did. And she'd be like, okay, good, because she's working two sure. jobs, Tired. you know. Yeah. So, yeah, when I turned thirty years old is when I started You're brushing like, my teeth. I'm gonna step this up. Yeah. So wow. that's why I th I don't think I can commit to sharpening the knife gotcha. every day. Fair enough. But I'll give it what a, a once. wild ride for not sharpening. Like, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, I was like, why? And then you tell us that and like, oh yeah, that's a good I'm reason. I'm just not a guy, yeah. you know, routine yeah. is hard for me to install. And I believe it. All right. I think there's like, you know, things Rob, I have to work oh, on. Rob, I'm emotionally Rob. drained. But I'd right love, I'd love to, if somebody could do it for me. Like if I had a massage therapist come in and sharpen my knife every oh, day. Oh, yeah. That could be arranged. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Very cool. Yeah, that would be easy to do. Sure. It could be this guy. It's not a sexual thrill for yeah. me. I want to get my knife sharp. Yeah, you don't want a nut. With you women. actually don't want a nut. Yeah, so. it would be helpful if it was this guy. Yeah, this guy. You'd, you'd be like, <laughs> and if you do not, you know that you We found something yeah. else yeah. out yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, go to stavi.biz. Stavi.biz. We're for coming. dates. Yes. Where are you going? Uh, we're going to, can we pull it up fellas? Cause I don't oh, yeah. remember. Uh, but I have a couple, so the, it starts actually in London. I'm going to be in London oh. and Amsterdam in September. Aww. Uh, and then after that we're in Cincinnati, Columbus, Cleveland, Baltimore. It's craziest thing in my life. I've sold out so many at the Lyric, which is where I saw Chris Rock perform as a kid. I can't Holy believe. shit, dude. Nice. It's insane. Yeah. We sold out four so far. That's amazing. Uh, Detroit, Grand Rapids, Philly, Orlando, Tampa. Wow. Nice. Uh, Milwaukee, Kansas, all the stuff. And then we're ending the fall tour at the Beacon Theater in New York. Which so is amazing nice. too. Yeah. I can't, I mean, this is, this tour is crazy. The special was crazy, but please buy your tickets. About half the tickets are gone. I'd love to just sell this shit out and not have to worry about it. Um, but yeah. And then hopefully the special will come out in the fall right around the end of that tour or maybe in the middle of the tour or something like that so great yeah and then i'm also my youtube channel if you guys just want to see more of me i have uh i put up stand up all the time i put a free crowd work special up there and then stavi's world the podcast which is going good the last time i was here we were just starting it and it's yeah. been like six seven months and it's going really well so congrats you're killing amazing. it dude it's Appreciate amazing it. we're big yeah. fans thank yep. you love you excited for, for you me. yeah awesome. proud of you excited for you this Thanks, is guys. really great stuff uh go see stabby and thank you for coming of course anytime and, um, Thanks, mommy. Literally we'll have, uh, we'll have yeah. some cute guys for you to check out very soon <laughs> yeah, i can't wait, I can't wait. Yeah. bye guys bye, bye mommy Take norman summerton Take norman summerton Take norman summerton calls and cock stupid 
useless tiny arms and cock little pathetic cock pig has no rope no string so it's going to have to use this this pig leash nice and tight for my mistress to leave me by my balls little pathetic cock pig circles pig circles pig stupid stupid balls pig balls pig cock pig balls pig cock here comes a little cock. Oh, I can't even see it so small. What a fucking loser. Balls, pigsicles, pigsicles, balls, and cock. What a fucking loser. Balls, pig, Norman, Summerton, slut, lure, tramp, cock sucking, bisexual, pig, 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 p